the pop shove it. This is a pretty basic trick that involves popping the board, letting it rotate 180 degrees, and then landing back on it. Generally, this trick is considered a beginner trick, and it should be learned sometime soon after ollies. The only things that you should really know how to do before learning this trick are just being really comfortable riding on your board and knowing how to distribute your weight back and forth, and also just straight up ollies. Those should help you with your weight distribution and especially knowing how to pop the tail and stay on top of the board. So the only real parts to this trick are the pop and scoop, the catch, and the land. Also take note that the catch is optional, but we'll get into that a little later. I think foot positioning for this trick is pretty easy because I set my feet up basically exactly like I do an ollie. My front foot is in the center of the board facing forward, and my back foot is right in the center of the tail, just like it would be for an ollie. So first things first, we're gonna learn how to scoop with the back foot. This is a pretty simple concept, but I thought it would be good to help you visualize. When you pop an ollie, your back foot tends to push straight down off the ground so the board doesn't move and do anything weird. Well, the scoop slash pop for a pop shove it is almost the same, except instead of pulling your foot straight down, you're pulling it down and behind you. And that's done mainly by pushing your back foot's toes down and back towards where your heel was. So our first step is gonna be to get that scooping motion so we're not just popping straight down. This is the easiest step and it's gonna feel or look kinda of stupid, but just stick with me. While standing off to the side of your board, just put your back foot on in the foot position I showed earlier and try doing what I said, push down with your toes, but also scooping your foot backwards so the board's gonna turn 180. For right now, the board's probably gonna go 360 or fly away from you, but that really doesn't matter. What we're trying to do is get a rotation going. Watch how my back foot from the toes pushes down, scoops back, and even kind of moves forward towards my other leg. The next step is to start stopping this rotation, and you can just use the same back foot. So give it a little scoop, and once you see that it turned 180, put that foot back down to stop the rotation. Eventually, you're gonna wanna start catching the board with your front foot instead of your back foot. So basically do the same exact thing, except instead of sticking your back foot out, put your front foot over the board and press down once it's turned 180. Even if you're not really popping this trick super high, you're still gonna wanna learn how to hover that front foot over the board in order to stop the rotation. Also, now that we have both feet on the board, watch how my back foot pushes way back behind me for the scoop. Yours should probably look a bit like that. So keep practicing the two main motions of popping with your back foot and scooping it backwards behind you, and also leaving your front foot up in the air in order to catch the board and stop its rotation. Keeping your weight sort of leaned forward over the board when you leave your front foot up there hanging is gonna be what's gonna help you to jump forward and land on the board with both feet eventually. So the next step of this trick is to actually start trying to land with both feet on the board. Like I said before, even if you're not popping this trick really high, the concept is the same. You're gonna scoop with your back foot, jump forward to land on top of the board. It should look something like this. And yes, especially when you're standing still and trying this trick, you're gonna need to jump forward in order to stay above your board. Something that really helps while trying this trick is holding onto something. It's a little weird because you can't really be facing the object because your board will just run into it. But if you even just hold on with one hand, it can give you a lot of confidence and get over the fear of falling just in case you do slip out or land wrong. So now it's time to take all of these steps and start trying them while rolling. You're going to go through all of the same procedures. First, just start by trying to pop and scoop the tail, letting the board just go wherever. You're just trying to get the rotation. 
Then start giving the board a little bit gentler of a scoop and putting your front foot over it in order to catch it. Make sure your front foot kind of just goes up, stays over the board the whole time, and then presses down when it needs to. Also, when your front foot is coming up, make sure that you're not accidentally flicking or pushing the board in a weird way that's going to cause it to flip over. It essentially comes straight up and over the board and then hangs there and then press down. So if you've gotten to this point and you have all of these steps down, then it shouldn't be too hard of a transition to finally get that back foot on there and land the trick. Make sure you're jumping forward over the board, not just with your legs, but with your whole body. Don't accidentally flip or over rotate the board. And then you just gotta put your feet down. So quick recap, learn to scoop the board with your back foot. Then learn how to scoop the board and catch it with your front foot. Make sure when you pop and jump, you're leaning forward over the board and then put both feet down. And then take all of these steps and implement them while you are rolling. And it should look something like this. And I've said it a few times, but I just want to reiterate, you don't really need to be popping this trick almost at all. You can just do all the same steps, but only doing a little scoop and barely pressing down. It's a good way to try this trick if you're having trouble getting the pop down. And if you practice it enough, you'll eventually be able to add the pop in order to get a nice high pop shove it. So here are a few of my pop shove it's. Just take a few things into account, mainly my back foot and the way it pulls back in order to rotate the board. The way that my front foot just kind of goes up and hovers over the board until it's time to press down to land. And the way that I kind of have to jump forward with my body in order to stay over the board. I'm not just pushing the board out in front of me with my legs, but I'm actually jumping forward with my whole body over the board. This is definitely a super fun trick to do, and with enough practice, you will definitely be able to land it yourself. If you need any further or more specific help, just leave a comment below. And besides that, thank you for watching, and you can like and subscribe if you want.